everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Iman and we are watching Outlander. This is season two, episode nine, and this one is called Je suis prêt, je suis presse. I'm not sure, <laughs> but here we are and we're on, I guess Jamie is, it says that Jamie is going to start training his men that he got from his grandfather. So I'm excited, ready to jump in. You can find the full timer reactions on my Patreon if you're interested in having those reactions, um, as well as just having early access. And those links are in my description box below. And thank you guys for your support. Well, are we in the present? If it went according to plan, all would meet up in Perth to join the prince's army. Wow, this is pretty epic. Mutter, no. Pardon me if I forgo the wee chick that I had planned in honor of your arrival. Made me long for the days. <laughs> the wink. <laughs> Didn't think you could talk that old bastard out of a loaf of bread. <laughs> Thought you would try to desert near King Yussi. We Simon's gone to bring them back into the fold. <laughs> we Simon. No, Fergus. I forgot he was with Marta. It's been horrible. He forced me to mend his socks. <laughs> he sounds like my youngest son. <laughs> Anything that's like goes against how he want what he wants, you know. He, I mean, it's great. I'm glad he talks the way he talks and stands up for what he believes. But you know, sometimes it's like it's not as bad as it's you're making it sound. Grandpa made me do like cleaning. I, why do I have to clean this? <laughs> uh, it's such a beautiful building. I mean, what would it be called? A cottage? Uh, it's all made out of stone. Oh my goodness. Hello, everybody. Oh, I love when Claire smiles. She doesn't smile so big all the time. You know, welcome for your beloved Is that Dougal? Oh my Dougal. lord, have mercy. Uh, it's hard. He's an attractive man, even though he's a bastard. Well, it wouldn't be Scotland without you, Dougal. This is true. It was as if my own son was taking his first steps as a man. <laughs> now, I know that you and I have had our differences in the past. <laughs> as I heard in the comments that he, like, he used an axe and hit, his, hit him in the head. Jamie. Hit Jamie in the head. In the books. What? Their differences. When you hear this, two lines. Get in line. King K. Oh no. And when do we get proper weapons, huh? Well, I mean, you guys are training. You learn where to stand. Yeah. Then you learn how to move. Yeah, it's the wax on. Wax off, you know. He's like, "What are you laughing?" Are you laughing at <laughs> he, he was gonna say that. <laughs> He's a drill sergeant. <laughs> oh there. no! What is the with you? You got in your oh, oh she's she's having flashbacks. Is I mean, is there a better way? Does do you have to yell to train people? I just I don't understand. Is it just that people have no time? They're just like, we just can't, we have no energy, no patience, no time. Just get to the, get to it. Wow, she's, ha she really is just having flashbacks right now. We were just playing. I asked you to get water for my lord, did I not? Well, she doesn't want him involved. She doesn't want him to get in, <clears throat> to fight at all, maybe. Come from, well, all over, really. Not sure where home is, to be honest. <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> Ironic. Ma'am, can I ask you a question? What kind of food is this trying to be? Is that like blood sausage or yeah. something? Black pudding. Though you would probably call it sausage. Then what do you call what we call pudding? <laughs> pudding. <laughs> she said he's one of the great Irish writers of all time. Pop says he's a communist. <laughs> <sighs> oh, honey, I don't. I want to hold her. And it's, she has no one to talk to. I mean, I guess Jamie is so busy right now. Okay, maybe they can talk now. Sorry. Sorry for bringing you here. Hmm. He realizes what she's going through. I'm on 
need to know. Whatever happens, we're going to get through this. We'll make sure you're safe. Hmm. Well, he thinks... I, he thinks that... He, yeah, I mean... Well, that's sweet, though. I mean, I'm glad he can read her. And he's being so gentle, too. Huh? Together, you clubs! Together! Mark! I just... Yeah, I, I feel... Adam. This doesn't... I don't know how this helps you. No! <sighs> I wouldn't like to be yelled at. We will win together. <laughs> Jamie's so good at everything. <laughs> oh, Dougal. Ah, oh, Dougal is just so, he's just so hot. <laughs> oh my God. Goodness gracious. How you beat the red God, eh? Oh my god, so now Dougal and Jamie are gonna go head to head with leadership. Dismiss! Move it! <laughs> Murta! Bloody sheep! I worked with you. Yeah, I mean, I was just gonna quickly say that Claire and Jamie really do have a lot in common. Like, they both have um, been in war, seen war. I was teaching them to fight while you were still sucking your mother's tit. God rest her. God rest. I know a wee bit more about this than you do. No. Mm. Yeah, stand up. Stand up for yourself, man. But if you choose to fight with Clan Fraser, then you'll respect my orders without objection. Are you gonna have, just, yeah, take it, Dougal. Dougal is so annoying, even though he's attractive. He's just... The attraction is, can only take you so far, right? <clears throat> then you remember, like, ah, oh, right, he's kind of an ass. Oh God! Now he's at, at after Claire. Go away! <laughs> I'm done. I was. It was nice to see him for three seconds, but he can go home now. I've been giving some thought to Jamie's situation. He's struggling. Needs help. He is a manipulator. Oh, Jamie, he's too proud to ask. Ugh. Shut up. Why would I do that? Yeah. Because of our agreement. What? I, wait. The one what? we made in the cave. What was it again? I would be like, what was it again? I really don't remember. Tell me what? What was it? I forgot. A lot happened. I'll wager you never told him about that, did you? That he, she would that marry? To you. That she would marry look after you him? As your husband. Oh, oh we got to kill Dougal. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I'm husband sorry. and I share everything. Mm. He knows about your offer. He is a better man than I. Yeah, we know that. That's true. Sure words have never been spoken. <laughs> See, I what are you doing? If I ever thought of you, then I might hold a grudge for all the things that you've done to me. Mm. But I Ooh, don't. Ooh, that's even... Why? That hurts more. Because of your affliction. Because you suffer from narcissism. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, then let me tell you. <laughs> Time comes from Greek mythology. Narcissus fell in love with his own. Oh my God, she's been on Reddit all day. <laughs> pull himself away to eat. Stop trying to convince everyone of your patriotism. It's tedious. Oh my God. Fuck yourself. All right then. <laughs> I mean, that's a message. You noticed Claire's been out of sorts lately. Okay, so Claire doesn't. I mean, he doesn't know what Claire's been through. She claims she's fine. It's gonna take a bit more than asking to pry it out of her. No. Oh, everyone needs a friend like Murtaugh, who like supports you in your relationship, who cares. So many friends are just like, oh, she, oh, disgusting. Every day filth. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, Claire, thank you for being so, so kind. You completely idiotic. Is that what you want? It's a rhetorical question. <laughs> she's so like, she's so over it. <laughs> yeah, there is, it's it, oh no. It just Make seems sure like, you know, boots. everyone's so young, they don't realize what can happen. I mean, then coat them everyone's like, we're soldiers, power. we're gonna fight, we're gonna have fun, it's gonna be great. And then they get into the trenches and it's like, oh, they're not gonna take it seriously. Oh, <laughs> that's who she's seeing. Did you hear what I fucking said? Um, I, heard ye. I love this because PTSD is not a pretty 
And when those tra traumatic flashbacks come, it doesn't matter whether you've been, you know, in war or in conflict at home and had abuse. It comes out in, a, in some ugly ways. It's not, I love that it's showing how this looks. If you do not wish to be here, then it is my order that you leave now and return to your homes. None will think less of you and no harm will follow. Yeah, get out of here. They all left. Dougal, I mean, come on. Dougal, Rest you're you so old. I'm sorry, no offense. There's no offense. But he, you would think with all his years, he'd be so much more wise. And he's just not. He acts like, sometimes he just acts like a 20, 25 year old guy who's just like, um, this hot machismo dude. And he's like, to follow orders. yeah, he's so annoying. Order me not to recruit new men. But Dougal. As we travel. Dougal, Dougal, need Dougal. Every able bodied man in Scotland, if we're to win this war, I will not force a man to risk dying for something he does not believe in. You and I can make them believe. No. no. You and your men are now in charge of sentry duty for the entire encampment. <laughs> I like Jamie doing this. And that is an order. You gotta show him. Done. Bite him on the ear or Get something. Like, show him your <laughs> boss. Get in there! <laughs> Allowing ten strangers into the camp last night, they'll receive six lashes apiece. You would think that after what, uh, oh, I guess it's a belt, but you would think after what Jamie went through, he wouldn't, like, do this to other people. That's humiliating. As well as painful, but really humiliating. Um, my command? Does he not know that she was a nurse in the... Army? I can't remember. I mean, during the war. The food at our field hospital makes that chow hall look like a banquet. Oh. Oh. So she really got... Okay. I'll try to circle around to the right. See if I can find a way across. Stay put. I'll be back for you. Just wait. Oh, God, I can't. I don't know. They can't hear me. They can't hear me. Please. Oh, my God. He Oh, another reason they are soulmates. Like Rand, uh, uh, Frank could never really understand the things that she went through. Not that that means anything, but like they can understand each other on a really deep level. Like when someone's been through the same trauma, uh, it, it really, I don't know how to explain it, but it really helps as he's this guy is just peeing. What? What the hell? What's it's going on? Why, are you creeping out I, why do I feel like that little dagger is going to come back? Oh, is your arm broken? <laughs> oh, I heard something snap. Oh. Oh, man. He gave me a, he gave the Shia LaBeouf scream. In direction of travel. There's nothing you can do. That will make me talk. Claire is like, what did I just walk in on? Scottish barbarian. Mm -hmm. Leave him alone, you, you sadist. Sister George Barnes said earlier that if you let the boy go free, then I will surrender myself to you, you pig. <laughs> oh, let her go! Oh, oh I could. <laughs> Oh, they're going to have some fun tonight. <laughs> they're like, oh, really? Really? Release the lady I will tell you whatever you wish. A good gentleman. Hold on. Until the boy answers my questions. <laughs> my name is William Gray. If what he told us is not oh, true, don't give him that back. I'm worried about this. this road, I give you your life. And oh no. I hope you use it well. That pocket knife is gonna come back. It's gonna hurt someone we care about. I will kill you. And I must hope, sir. Oh. That we do not meet again. Well, you guys are. He's going to come back, like when they're in like a battle or something, and he's gonna help Jamie somehow, and then Who was on stab wars? Jamie. Why does this keep happening? What? 
Gonna let the guilty go unpunished. Spank him. Gonna continue with his carelessness. He's already. <laughs> He's ready. Don't hit his head. I don't know why I thought <laughs> at least I just do it here. <laughs> oh. That's kind of good. That actually is a good sign of like, hey, we humiliated you, but we get Yeah, they like that. They're like, hey, all right. That's our leader. Jamie. No, that's good. That really is. That's that uh, Jamie and Claire are like something else. They're different people. They're different. They're just different. That's a tough spot to be in for Murta too. Yeah, so it's a lot of violence back in the day. <laughs> like, God. Uh. He's like, this is nothing. I stay behind. Some wretched soldier must be given an order by his commander. Mm. This is a nail in the That's coffin. Exactly what he'll do. He's a commander and you are a soldier in this situation. I really like this music. It's awesome. This episode was really good. So is this is this Gaelic? This being sung in Gaelic? So the war is gonna start really soon. This doesn't make sense. I'm so confused. Because when she went back to um, the future, she was pregnant. She can't get, I don't know. Because she was like, Big belly. I like this song a lot. All right. This was a wonderful episode. I, I really adore this show and the message it has and the, the feeling it gives you, the real, I guess, realism it also shares and uh, the heartbreak and the sadness and the happiness. And um, I think that's something I, I, I'm a fan of is that it's not just some like lovey dovey gushy show. There is like difficulties that they have to face head on. It's not like smooth sailing for Jamie and Claire. It's always something goes on. And that's just the reality of like a real loving uh, relationship. You have to go through the hard times together and then you get to go through the, the happy times together and then back down to the hard times. <laughs> It's just what it is. So it's just, I've always just appreciated that aspect of the show. And I, I'm not reading the books yet, but maybe, you know, in the books, it's it's even deeper in that way too, which would obviously I would hope for. I wanted to say like Dougal is so interesting. He, you know, it's nice to see him. He's like that family member that you, you like, who's funny, who's charming and and or a friend and then you start to hang out with them after a while it's like night okay it's nice to see them you haven't seen them in a while they make you laugh crack you up it's great and then all of a sudden their bad habits start to come out the thing you're like oh right that's why we don't see this person all the time like that's why we we have space from this person and that's how Dougal is because I was so happy to see him and then I'm reminded of like oh yeah this is how he is all the time. <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy Claire stood up to him, to told him he was a narcissist. And yeah, I mean, he, he, he might be right. He might be telling the truth about loving Scotland more than himself. But the other part is true too. He's very much, it's, it's all about Dougal. He really does undermine Jamie and he doesn't really respect Jamie because he feels like he, he doesn't want to let things go. He's like, I'm still this, I'm still supposed to be the commander, which is hard to let go of. Like if you were at a place, you know, on uh, the, what is it? The hierarchy and you, you're kind of at the top and then you go down a bit, it, it doesn't feel good. And he's, I don't know, trying to figure it out, I guess. But you know, the manipulation came up again, the undermining, the condescending behavior and Jamie did awesome throughout this episode really regaining control regaining control and showing him who's boss so I, I I love Jamie and poor Claire I I yeah that it really hurt my heart to see her in pain and not know what to do with it because she doesn't want to overwhelm her husband who's literally like this is not the time to be like take my burden 
or or so she thinks and of course Jamie is always going to be there for her and he's he's a good man he really is and um I love that Claire is not all always sunshine and and smiles I feel like in a lot of series when it comes to women I, I think they're presented as always being like bubbly happy vivacious uh, energetic I've never been able to relate to that because there's moments that I feel bubbly, happy, outgoing, wonderful. I'm even louder and more confident. And then there's days where I'm really quiet, low energy. I'm probably more in a depressed state, whatever it is. But it's always it's always kind of rubbed me the wrong way in in TV series where there's kind of um, they make the characters always like the same. They, they never have the ups or the downs. They're just always like upbeat and happy. So yeah, it's it's just important. It's important to see characters that are very realistic and someone that you can relate to. I really relate to Claire on a deep level. Um, and I really look up to her. And, um, you know, stri- it's like someone to strive to be like. The same with Jamie. You'd love to just strive to have his, like his perspective and his demeanor and his heart. And he's just very, very wise for his age. And um, yeah, I think it's just cool. I'm really, I'm really impressed with that. And I I like how they showed, like Claire is also, Claire can be like off-putting sometimes and frustrating and annoying. And she's not like this always prim and proper. She, She curses. She can yell, she can have outbursts, and you're like, it's realistic. It's so realistic. I'm just so sick of the whole painting the picture that women have to be a certain way. And if you're not this way, then you're no good because we're humans. We're not just women and men or whatever you identify as. We are just humans at the end of the day. And we have emotions and we have traumas and pain and happiness and joys and they just I'm just very impressed with this series and how they show that how they humanize Claire and everything she went through and and they they really like the war scenes when they flash back to that and just seeing what she experienced I mean there's so many stories I'm sure that 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 um happen that way throughout history where people you know they just don't know what they're getting into that's youth and that's when you don't have experience that's why you can be young and still very wise because if you've experienced things that maybe someone else who's like in their 50s hasn't experienced then it is you have something that they don't have which is experience and that does give you wisdom and obviously the older you are supposed you're supposed to have more experience so the more wisdom you have um but i just you you know i think a lot of people go into battle uh with a doe-eyed look a lot of people go into new jobs or new relationships new friendships all of the above with a doe-eyed look i've done it and things work out for a while but then well, I haven't done war or anything like that, but I'm talking like just, you know, when you're naive and you just don't know, and then when you're actually faced with the realities of how scary something can be, it changes you. And you really, you can't go back you can, unless you start to use, you know, alcohol or other drugs to drown drown it out. Or like Claire blocked that moment out. She, didn't, she never revisited that because she felt shame and, and, and fear and that that man screaming for his mom over and over is probably I mean that would make anyone go crazy and so she's carried a lot on her for sure and again I just appreciated how they showed that and I appreciate how they they showed that in um, was it 1917 the movie I think it was called 1917 like a lot of the characters had no idea what they were getting themselves into. And we get to see them like understand their fate more and more as the movie went on. And they're like, 
super confident, like we're going to be in papers, we're going to be the superheroes, everyone's going to know our names. And then as the movie goes on, so much happens, terrifying things happen, and it's just like, no, I mean, I don't want my name to be remembered. I just want to make it out of this alive. Like, I don't want to lose my my limbs. I don't want to, I just want to get out of here. I just want my life. Um, and that's just that. I think that that thing, I don't know what it is, but we all have it. And it, and it's, and it is, we, I think it's the main character syndrome. Everyone thinks that we're going to be the one to make it. And when something really bad happens, where we go into shock because it's like, how this wasn't supposed to happen. And I feel like more real, realistic training for for people to go through just as a life thing. Like, hey, you're in life now. <laughs> You've been born. You're about to be in life. This is life. Let's have a training on life and what could happen. And not like scare tactics and fear. And oh, if you like when they tell the kids, yeah, if you have sex, you're going to get STDs. Like that's not the point of it. There's It's much deeper than that. It's much deeper. It's not don't. Don't just abstain because you're afraid of STDs. I mean, that's a good idea, I guess. But maybe make it a little bit more flexible and make more experience, bring your experiences to it. And like having multiple partners could potentially make you feel depressed in a in a several years. Not, not everyone's that way, but you know, everyone's different. Everyone's different. And then talk about it. Talk about the realities. I just wish that was how this was instead of like we all just walk around just like oh life is a fairy tale (laughs) and and poor people you know everyone just but everyone's we all have this thing this like shroud of uh, naivety and then when you hit something traumatic something traumatic hits you you change and you're like okay so that won't i won't do that again well i survived this one how can i do it differently you know that's the hope and I just, I don't know, it made me think of that with these young guys going into the war and with Angus going in and being like, whatever about his feet. And she and Claire is just like, you're, you can literally get your leg chopped off. What the hell are you doing? And um, yeah, I just loved it. And I love that at the end, Jamie was was there to lift her up and listen to her and take that burden off of her a bit and help her. Sometimes people just need to be listened to, to just like, you know, listened to and just held. And that's all. And so I just, again, I love that that's how their relationship is. And I I really loved this episode. It was powerful. But I, I really appreciate you guys watching this reaction. I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.